Authors don't make every point explicit. Sometimes they require readers to read between the lines and draw conclusions or inferences. Sometimes these conclusions need to be drawn from a single statement. These are called detail-based inferences. And in order to make them correctly, we must be aware of the context and tone of the passage. Let's look at one. As we read the following passage, we're going to try to answer this question. What can we infer about residents of low-income urban neighborhoods? Here's the passage. Every day, people are exposed to many different environmental pollutants which can cause health problems. Pesticides in particular are a major problem. Large quantities are applied in urban communities to control vermin, especially in some low-income areas. Notice towards the bottom that we mention people who live in the urban communities and in low-income areas. What is true about them? Well, they get more pesticides, a kind of environmental pollutant which can cause more health problems. So people who live in these areas may be at greater risk for developing some health problems. That's a valid inference that we can draw from that detail. We could also draw an invalid inference. We might see something like this. Environmental pollutants are not the biggest health threat to those in low-income urban areas. This is not supported by the passage, which does not rank or order or even discuss any other health threats to people in these areas. Therefore, this inference is invalid because it is not supported by the detail in question.